Greetings and salutations everyone, Amadeus44 here, and welcome back to Mega Man Legacy Collection. Anyways, this is the third time I am recording this. First time, I got really far into the Dr. Wily fight, and my game, or my computer decided, You're playing a game? Let's update! Even though I told it not to reboot. Uh, just spontaneously. But now it decided to do that. And then after that, Mega Man Legacy Collection's settings decided to reset. Second recording. Went pretty good, and I did kill Dr. Wily. And got into the credits, and then I took a glance at my OBS window, and noticed that the game audio was muted. I want to give you guys the best uh, experience that I can give you, so yeah, I decided to delete that recording, and here we are now. Anyways, I uh, did um, save the game into the fight, uh, just to the point where the health bar is appeared and I am at in quick or bubble man's form. So let's get right to it, shall we? Uh, this is not my day, but at least I now have a bit of experience dodging these bullets. Isn't that right? Sheesh. Uh, not much I can do, right? Right? Excellent. Can we get this guy killed without taking any damage this time? All signs are pointing to maybe, but then again, with the fact that I have some tickling my nose right now, in fact, since I did take damage, I will uh, get that out of the way. Uh, so yeah, the answer to that is a resounding no. I'm not going to kill him without taking damage, but hey, double shot. Another double shot. Very good. And one more. One more. Yes. Goody. And can we get some more? Please? Yes, we can. Goody. And... Come on. Haven't got all day. And two more shots. Can I get another double? Yes, I can. And he is dead. And, yep, that's a computer simulation or something with a star field in the background. Of course, when I was a kid, this really confused the heck out of me, and I wasn't sure what the heck was going on. But now I can see. Yep. And that's why Bubble Lead was the thing that took care of it. And now Dr. Wily is groveling for forgiveness. Yep. Awesome. And blackness. Nice music. And there's a walking Mega Man. And it's Autumn, and he is Heat Man for whatever reason. Yeah. No idea why. Because after all, it is Autumn, and Heat Man is typically regarded as being hot. And then Winter, Bubble Man. Yep. Anyways, I'm going to take the drink of water. Spring and Quick Man. And, yep, this is my cup. Nice and big. Feel it. Has a lot of water. Being of water, Wetness and Flash Man, I believe that is. Sorry if the rustling of uh, the ice... Uh, was noisy, and now he's looking up at something. What is he looking up at? Uh, actually, he's looking up this way. I have no idea. And now his uh, helmet is gone, and he is in a peaceful village setting with uh, repeated building sets. Staff. Number 9, Metal Man Masanori Sato. Uh, I'm guessing these are the designers of the bosses. Airman Yuji Kanazawa. Bubble Man, 
Takashi Tanaka. You know what? I'm going to just uh, get uh, past this because, let's face it, I want to get back into Mega Man 3. Uh, quit. Uh, pardon the loud music, but that's what I have to uh, handle. And Mega Man 3. Ah, this one has a lot of memories for me. Even though Mega Man 2 was my absolute favorite, this one, yeah. <sighs> yep, I'm 99% sure that it is Magnet Man that I have to do first. Basically put, around the time that this game came out, I got a really, really bad case of uh, poison oak. To the point where I couldn't even go into school anymore because I was just itching so badly. And so my parents took pity and bought me this game. And we've got our mystery, mystery guy and a show off of my new ability. Boy. Yep, I can slide now. Anyways, to continue on with the story, they took pity on my pain and bought me this game. And I played the heck out of it for, like, two days or something until I stopped itching so badly and needed to have constant oatmeal baths. Fun times, fun times. Well, now then. You are a break man. You are not doing any break dancing, though, sadly. But you're now gone. Bye. And this guy, lovely. Boy. Thank you. Also, this music is quite memorable, albeit not quite as awesome as Mega Man 2's. Uh, but still. Ooh, energy. Nice. Er, no. You know what I mean. And one of the interesting draws of this game. Get it? The magnets. Or this stage, not this game. You know what I mean. And there we go. Four pickups of health. And, yep, we got this. Can I remember how it's done? Yes, I can. Can I remember how this one's done? A little bit less so. But, let's see if I can do it regardless. Yep. And there we go. One, two, three. Ah, mm -mm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that one. Let's see. Huh. And there we go. Good. Uh oh. No, no, no. Mm. Yeah, that was bad. I should feel bad about that. And I do. is a real stinker, isn't it? Okay, and whoop. Nice. Okay, at least I have good memory of this now. And let's just see this one, just in case. And, huh. Come on. Good, 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 good. Magnet Man? You're going down. Just an FYI. And interesting that I can potentially go downwards. That's something of this game's level design, which I have not seen up until this game. At least I got some health now. Isn't that right, health? That is correct. Oh, right, I have to go down through here. Yay. Ooh, that was... that was close. 
And then, of course, there's you. Ow. Dang it. Ugh, that lovely home missile. Anyway, save it. And first boss kit. Ow. Now, one of the biggest things that I remember about Mega Man 3, it was buggy. I seriously doubt I can do any of the bugs. Well, I don't know if it was actually a bug or if maybe it was a uh, left in um, a developer tool, but you could potentially do this really high jump with the second controller in, and it was pretty awesome. Ah, just missed it. Is that my last life? Yes. Look at that measly password screen. <sighs> okay, load game. Oh, oh, that was on my OBS. Never mind, thought I my mouse pointer was on the game screen. I was about to say, oops. Come on. Please don't be that way. At least I thought that Magnet Man was the first boss. Maybe I was wrong. Or maybe... Maybe I just have to do this like so. Come on. And... Boink. Just like that. Ah, should have uh, slid. Just like this. And dead. Dead, dead, dead. Do -do -do. Wink. And. Yep, game powers. And there we go. Nice. <clears throat> okay, after Magnet Man is. Hard man? Maybe? Either way, let's save. Uh, let's see. What was it top man? Let's do hard man. <clears throat> Anyways, with the uh, sort of high jumping thing that I mentioned prior, uh, you can do a lot of buggy stuff, especially in uh, Gemini Man stage. Uh, game just still remains playable, just kind of glitched out, if that makes sense. Oi. These. And then there's these things. Yep. Lots of memories. And now for the interesting thing about the uh, uh, Mega Man games from this one on up. Crush Coil. Well, actually, Rush, period. Yep. Mega Man now has a pooch. A mega pooch. Pretty cool stuff, if I do say so myself. Boy, can you please not? Thank you. Worse than the gorillas in Mega Man 2. Or the gorilla. Yeah. Yeah, I need to figure out exactly how high I need to go. This is good. This is plenty good. <clears throat> Pick this up and continue on. And of course we've got another one of you. You're not going to let me go, are you? Probably not. Wait. Thank you. That used up a lot of power. <sighs> Very 
Very good, very good. What? Bulldozer operator. Stop it. And, oops, wrong one. That's going to be a theme for this entire game. E-Tink. And lots of slowdown. Lovely. And this annoying section. Oh. She used to bug the heck out of me. No pun intended at all. Ow. Ow. Hang man. And yep. Break man again. Why you gotta be like this, break man? Can't you just take a break or something? I mean, give me a break. And yep. Maybe it's not hard man. Maybe it's top man. Maybe I'm just wrong in general. It has been a while since I last played this game. Ooh, a terrarium. Very nice. Uh -oh. Okay, oops. And these link guys from highly reminiscent of the uh, one boss in Mega Man 2 from last episode. I'm sure you know which ones I'm talking about. It's like Dr. Wily doesn't even know how to do uh, anything different. Why is my eye acting up? I have no idea. Stupid eye. And it's my good eye too. Nope. And now it's watering. Yay. Why are the bulldozer guys here? I have no idea. <clears throat> oh hey, why not? Uh, that's something that I need. Rush, do your stuff. Thank you. Boy. Ooh, thanks. That'll do nicely. Thank you. And of course, uh, power up brush coil. And a robotic kit for top end level. What the crap developers? What the crap indeed. Okay. Top dudes. That's fitting. And yeah, of course the cat has fleas. Why not? Ooh, spiky plants too. Wait the glass break anyways. No, no, no. Wasn't there one uh, Mega Man game where you could damage enemies with your slide, either from a boss build or something along those lines. I don't recall. Well, hey -o. Interesting way to make it look like you're rotating, even though you're not. Anyways, save it. Yes, override. Thank you. And let's see if Magnet Man is the correct one. Probably not, but there's always a chance. Seems like that this is supposed to be the first boss. So, yeah. No? Good. Dang it. Not quite. 
point. <sighs> Load it. Ah, oh, you can't even slide into the box door. Good to know. Seems like this boss is mostly designed to uh, teach you how to slide. Oh. And yeah, that was stupid. Like, stupid. <laughs> and he is dead. Dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. And of course, get the power, fill up the bar, and up we go. Yep, yep, action pose. You got top spin. Woo! Spinny! Yay! Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode, so don't forget to leave a like, comment, whatever. And as usual, the Zombies 40 for signing out, wishing you a wonderful day, and of course, keep on spinning.